I have a tale to tell that you may not know, because it happened so long ago, about witches and bears and the masculine ego, of a time women had income but then let it all go. It was taken away by men, don't you know? And the myth we are left with, you will certainly know, of witches and broomsticks, which led to the glow of fiery pyres and drownings in water. But to these alewives we owe a debt of honour, and to honour their memory, think of them now. For all you women creating income, shout out loud, be more witch, and of this heritage be proud. Do you know why witches have pointed hats and broomsticks? Once upon a time, the 5th century to be accurate, beer was brewed by women. Beer was a big drink at that time and the water was not very clean so it was the most popular drink that there was. And because it was made in a kitchen and mostly drank by men, it was considered women's work to make the beer. The women who made the beer were known as alewives. Some worked in big houses, employed by the master, paid to brew beer and others. While other alewives brewed beer at home and sold it, they were honeys making money. They were entrepreneurs and it was a cottage industry. These alewives had their own income and some level of independence. Yet society at the time had a low regard for the alewives and plays and poems from the 14th and 15th centuries depict them as wayward and not being worthy of being saved from hell. And for many centuries, the alewives were the brewing industry and they had some trademarks that identified them as such. If they were selling beer on an outdoor store, on an outdoor stall, they had a tall hat. And there's a tale that the height of the hat depicted how wealthy you were. The taller the hat, the more money you were making. And guess what colour the hats were? To advertise that they sold beer from home, they placed a broomstick outside the property. And the broomstick then was a sign of domestic trade. And they brewed their beer in big vats. One of the challenges to brewing was that mice, likely rampant in those times, would hang around the vats hoping to catch stray grains used in brewing, which is a valid reason why the alewives would keep cats to kill the mice. You know where this tale is going, right? The brewing industry today is big business, and whilst there are female master brewers, it's a male-dominated industry. Women were forced to stop brewing around the 15 and 1600s. This was for political, religious, and gender-motivated reasons. The alewives were perceived as dangerous women and temptresses who lured men to spend their money on beer. And the patriarch at that time began a campaign to paint these women as wicked. And they were temptresses making men fall into bad ways. Because clearly men were too weak to take responsibility for themselves and their own drinking. That campaign, whilst I can find it was no evidence it would start the witch hunts, did use the tall black pointed hat the cauldron, the broomstick and a cat, to define the devils that these women were meant to be. And so eventually, men took over brewing and made the money instead. Not only did these women lose their incomes, far worse, some may have lost their lives. Witch hunts were happening in earnest in the 14th century onwards. The Catholic Church was involved and men independently took it upon themselves to seek out witches to kill them. This happened all over Europe. Now, I'm not a historian and I don't wish to live in the past. The present moment is where the magic is. But this narrative of history explains the position of women in society today. Why, for no good reason, do women have difficulty making their own money? Because we have an ancestry that it can be taken away from us at any time. We have an ancestry that we're not worthy of making money. And those accused of and killed as witches were not just alewives. They were women who acted as midwives, bringing life into the world. They were healers using natural remedies that nature gave us. And those who were intuitive and deemed to put spells on you. It's time to break bonds with this piece of history and reclaim the witch. If you're making your own income, wear your hat high. Consider using alternative healers and remedies if that's what you're called to do and reclaim your intuition. Make spells for yourself to manifest the life that you want and to feel empowered. And this is a particular part of history across Europe, which has happened in North America. Other nations and continents have their own history of how men and women have been treated based on a patriarchal set of values that included superiority, entitlement, and twisted religious values. 
But let's take this piece of history and feel empowered by it. Let's create a shift for the next generation of women that they don't have to hold on to this ancestry. To know that we can honour these women from the past and that together we can change and dismantle the patriarchal insanity that prevents women and men from holding an equal place in society. And that's the tale I have to tell of Witches, Broomsticks, Cats and Spells. To reclaim our power and earn our cash, my spell for you is that good fortune lasts. To have peace and equality reaching all. To honour our ancestors who did the best. And now we can let them rest. As we stand up for what we believe. And for now, I take my leave. See ya.